Hello, how's it going? Picked me up a uh, port of band, Milwaukee port of band at the flea market this weekend. I'm doing a new little project. Uh, I just got some cutting, cutting the cord there. But that's all right. I'm gonna be getting rid of this cord. I'm gonna make a, uh, I'm gonna make a uh, stand up bench. You know, a bench bandsaw. Got me some plate over here. You can't see it. it's out of frame. But they got me some plate. I'm going to put me a plate on it, make me a little stand, put me a little tray in it or something. You know, so I can have a little bench bandsaw. Uh, this thing's been abused. I had to order some new rollers for it. Got a new blade. I've already kind of had it in part. This is a 6238-20 model. Uh, I haven't looked at the brushes. Take a look at those real quick, see what they look like. Yeah, they still got some life on them. I'll hold off on those for right now. See if I can get the thing back in here. Get in there. Well, easy to get out, but not easy to get back in, huh? So I figured I'd do a little disassembly on it and show you what's going on with it. Uh, first, we're going to take off this cover so we can get the slide out and be able to do that. I've got to get these rollers off. Might as well take the other rollers off too. But first, go ahead and get the blade off. There's this little mechanism here. And it's got the wrong screw in it. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see where it's been marring up the metal there so I'm going to replace that as well like I said somebody's done a number on this side so anyway get the blade out of it and she's pretty shot missing a few teeth ground down so you're setting another one that was coming. Somebody has taken this thing and take, had it apart before because it's got screws that are missing and screws that are in the wrong place. But I need to get the slide off. Gotta get the rollers off anyway. So we'll just do a quick overview here. And this thing is aluminum, so. Whoever's been after it or in it has over cranked some of the screws, so I'm gonna have to re tap and maybe even oversize some of these holes. So, anyway, four screws there. That's just CLR, not CLR, uh, Rust Oli, Rust Oli, <laughs> uh, Rust Remover. Uh, Vapor rust stuff works great. So I'm gonna slide this off. And it just slides off there. And it's got a little nick in it. I'll heat that up with the heat gun and try to melt it back into place. Get that cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take this other side off too, since I'm gonna take the rollers off. I'm gonna pop this handle off. Nope, not with that one. Get that off. See, it's got some. I don't know, it's probably a. Uh, 
self threading screw. You can grab a little crescent and say real quick. Yeah. That's not factory. So I'll see if I have something with like a hex head on it. You know, that'll ride it better because that's really tearing it up right there. Yeah, this thing's got some rust on it. Soaking in that CLR. And see, here's one screw I've already replaced because whatever was in there was not correct. Just like this top one, it's not correct either. So. We'll have to see about these because I haven't had this one out. These rollers were frozen. So, dumped them in some CLR, let it eat some of that rust out of it, and spun them on a drill and decided, well, they're screwed. You can get this whole roller for nine bucks. So, I bought the front and back, but yeah, you can tell how crunchy they are. So, anyway. Maybe use those for something else one day. So, I don't know what, because they're shot. But, anyway. So, this piece slides off. It's got a little clicking mechanism on the side of it right here. You push it in and just completely disengages. We won't be needing that. I'm going to make this bandsaw into a permanent uh, stand-up bandsaw. Meaning I'll never take it apart, take it off the rack, unless it's to service it or something. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Yeah, see, that's a coarse thread, and I'm not sure it's supposed to be. I know one of these weren't, one of them was. I mean, one of them had one in there too short. This ought to be interesting because... Yeah, that one's coarse too. So maybe they are supposed to be like that. Those are pretty crunchy too. Not as bad. But again, this part's nine bucks for twenty bucks. I got those new parts. Now the problem that I'm worried about is because this is where I'm gonna mount my table. And there's just three screws in there. Oh, we're going to have to dig a little further into that. That's, that's pretty bad. But well, there's just three screws that hold this plate on, so I'm going to take them out. So I paid a hundred bucks for this thing. I hope I didn't pay too much. I know they're like Probably get them on sale for like two seventy nine. So we got a hundred, hundred thirty into it already with blades and uh, bearings. So we need more parts. Yeah, it's good to rescue old tools though, if you can. These guys here, and there's the little plate. That's what my other plate's going to sit on. But these guys here, you can't really tell. But they're they're kind of buggered up. So 
I'm going to recap them. Well, that one looks pretty good. That one does too. And that one's pretty, I don't know. I know I saw some aluminum on one of the screws when I pulled it off. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to do that. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Let's see about getting the sucker off of here, though. My favorite thing, retaining clips. Yeah, see, man, I mean, these things are, I don't know if somebody's had these out before or what, but I'm going in on that. Yeah, right. I know that they get corrosion on them due to dissimilar metals, but. Get a retaining clip pliers. Try these out. These are a little better than the Harbor Freights. I don't know what kind they are, but they seem a little stronger. Still want to order a kit, but I haven't been able to do that yet. The spring is way more stout. I'm probably gonna need. Yeah, I'm gonna get the other, the other, the straight ones. Yeah, that's, that spring is way stronger. Okay. Ah! Doesn't exactly fit on the hole. Well, that one does. There we go, I got her. Got her. A little tight. So if we get a little plastic washer. Oh, I guess that's supposed to do that. So it can latch and unlatch. See if they're loose. So that's supposed to do that. So that's good to know. It's a little springing mechanism there. Take a look at the wheel. Oh, the wheel's got some crap embedded in it. See if we can get some new tires for it too, I guess. So that tire has got a lot of metal embedded in it. Yeah, I get some new tires for it too. Go ahead and uh, pop off this brush. Nope. I don't have a T20, it's not here yet. Wow. 
bought a set of Cornwell tools. All these are Cornwell. It's a pretty nice set. I'll show you when I get this wheel off. And it was missing two. Picked it up pawn shop, 75 bucks. That's not too bad. I mean, it's a, it's a $180 kit plus. I don't know where you get it from. But that's used. So, it's a nice kit. You know, I don't think I'm going to bust that off. Nah, maybe I'll give it a shot. Why not? I don't know how hard it's going to be. Look at all the impact on it, huh? Not a 14 price. Come on. An Imperial. So, I'm going to find the material side. 9 16 Yeah, watch your ears. Washer. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to look up some disassembly instructions. Because that is not on the come loose. Let's see if I can find my old Chinese. Sort of funny. Get that out of there. Check out the state of the brush. Yeah, not too bad. This thing's been left out in the rain or something. But she's got rust all over. I'm going to look up a brush price too and see if I can get a brush. That's well, not too bad. It's got some rust on it. Well, maybe I can just buff that off. The bristles aren't coming out, so that's good. Oh, I'm going to go look and see how I get that wheel off. I'll be back. Okay. I don't know. I can't find figure out how to get this off.
I got all the clutch plates off. Uh, I can't find anything online where to uh, how to how to get this off. I mean, the shaft spins inside the wheel because it's got a clutching system. But I spin the shaft and the wheel won't pop off. So I don't know. If anybody knows how to get that off, please leave it below in the comments. I'm going to end this little short video here until I figure out what's going on.